This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I want to circle back to something you just sort of glossed over because it feels like uh, a make believe story. I certainly believe you, but I'm saying this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. The dude had a tank and ran over his own shit. Yes. Yes. Hey, thank God he didn't use the gun on the tank. <laughs> he, he would have blew up his mansion. It's unbelievable. Yeah, he, he just, he, he, he bought a tank and I'm not sure where he got it. Uh, obviously he has a lot of contacts. He could probably get whatever he wanted. And, uh, he rode it on his farm and was, uh, knocking over buildings and barns and, you know, just trying to destroy whatever he could. He just, uh, felt like doing it that day. He was like, I'm June, John DuPont. And this, this is what I'm going to do today to kill time. And, uh, I think he just had a lot of time on his hands and he had a lot of money and he didn't know what to do with either one of them. Was, would you, would you categorize John as paranoid? Yes, he was definitely paranoid. And I think the drugs had a lot to do with that. Yeah. Because like I said, when he was sniffed that Coke and came downstairs, he got really paranoid. You got to leave, man. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I, I found something downstairs. You're going to have to leave. And, you know, he was, he thought that, you know, he wanted the wrestler to go in that tunnel, that 600 yard tunnel, because he thought somebody was coming after him. So he was delusional to a point. And I think the drugs had a lot to do with it. Was there any pressure, you know, we'll call it peer pressure, but I guess that's not really the right term here, but I know you guys are all elite athletes training there, but if, if he wants to be like you guys, he might want you to be like him. Is he ever pressuring guys to do cocaine? As far as you recall? No, John did that in his own privacy. He didn't want anybody to know about it. I see. I, I, I'd imagine he had uh, some problems in the past. He also had some problems with alcohol and uh, I'm sure that he was trying to hide both of those. If he was still drinking, I, I didn't think he was still drinking, but I think he switched the drugs to cocaine. And uh, I'm sure that, um, uh, that, you know, that had a lot to do with it. I want to tell the rest of the DuPont story. I feel, you know, like it's worth mentioning because it feels, I don't know, unfair. After John murders Mr. Schultz, he goes back to his mansion and just holds up for like 60 hours before the cops trick him into coming outside. And there's a lot of controversy around this because, well, the police were handling DuPont like he weren't exactly a murderer. I mean, they had become friends with him. He had let the entire police force train on his farm. So he was friendly with the, with all these guys. But a typical police standoff doesn't last three days, especially with a single guy like this, who's not exactly Chuck Norris. <laughs> um, what do you think of the way the local police handled this whole situation? I mean, the, the Schultz family had to be furious. Well, the local police, they were very tight with John because John had a firing range on his farm that the police officers would utilize. Yeah, so they held John up, but I'm, I'm not surprised why they did it because John was dangerous. John knew how to use machine guns. He knew how to use grenades. He had all that stuff in his mansion. And I believe the FBI, even though in the police there, they, they were friends with John. They knew John very well, but they also knew that John knew how to use these weapons. And they didn't want a big you know, war going on. So, uh, they, they wanted the standoff. I'm sure it wouldn't have gone much longer. I'm sure they would have ended up breaking in the house, but, uh, they, they were trying to make it a peaceful standoff because they knew John was dangerous and he was, he knew how to use all that stuff. And, uh, he had a lot of it in his house. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.